Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. You know, in the book of Philippians, Paul writes such wonderful words of encouragement for us as the church or the Christian, as we're able to look at the Word of God and see that many times in life we have problems and we have challenges. But he says in verse 4, rejoice in the Lord, and again I say rejoice. Now, no matter what you're facing today, if you're watching this video, you're alive, and at least you're able to have some communication with the outside world, and that's a reason to rejoice. Now, everything may not be lined up your way, and you may have some wants on your list, and there may be some things that you're trying to accomplish, but you're blessed. And we ought to rejoice in that. If you make it to church today, this morning, or tonight, be an encouragement at the church. Rejoice at the church. Give somebody a, a better feeling about the day because the Bible says in Romans 15, 1, we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Well, what happens to us is that we get caught up with what we're doing. We get it on our mind about what we're doing. And so many times we we have so many challenges and we feel like the world stops to our understanding because we're localized on our situation. Well, God has made a way for all of us. The wonderful thing about this is that God cares so much that he gave his only son and what a commitment that is to you and to me. But the Bible says that in this mindset that I understand about God's love and God's care, that means that he's not going to put me in a situation where I cannot manage it by his leadership. Now, I may be put in a situation, but it may be my doing that puts me in that situation. But where God guides, he provides. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. What a wonderful promise we have. So let me ask you today, whose life can you change by rejoicing? Whose life can you change by picking somebody up? Whose life can you make better by simply raising the spirits of a fallen brother, a fallen sister, someone weaker than you? You know, the Bible is so wonderful for us to be encouraged by. Because Paul says here, finally, you know, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Well, we are in a situation today that God has blessed us with and an opportunity to do good. So let me encourage you today to do good. Be a blessing to those around you. Be a blessing to those that, that you are facing. Be a blessing to those that, well, that maybe need that attaboy, that pick me up. You say, hang on, preacher, I need the attaboy, the pick me up. Well, do you know what happens in scripture? When you start encouraging other people, things fall off in your own mind and therefore you become blessed and don't even know it sometimes. Suddenly you feel better, suddenly your outlook changes because you're putting some time and some ministry and some love and some mercy in the lives of someone else and then God can slide in and help you. Well, today's a good day and today is a day that you need to make a decision. Rejoice because rejoice is a choice. God bless you. We love you and goodbye.